Hey guys, as I said, today I'm doing two stories as I missed out on doing a bedtime story yesterday. So I hope, I really do apologise for missing out. They, they're going to be quite hard and you'll notice my neighbours are so noisy. It can be quite irritating. But you know, I can think of someone else who has a very irritating neighbour, or should I say irritating lover. Of course, I'm referring to Gaston and Beautiful Belle. Today's story involves, beauty, involves a Beauty and the Beast story, and it shows just how Gaston is so naive. Even when he tries to be Shibble, he just hasn't got the heart that Belle is looking for. This story is called Just Desserts. Belle walked to the village, thinking about the wonderful book she had just finished reading. It was one it was full of fire breathing dragons, magical wizards, and brave princesses. All of a sudden, Belle's thoughts were interrupted by a giant crashing noise. Even before he spoke a word, Belle knew who was walking behind her. She would recognise that stomp anywhere. Gaston, Belle muttered. Belle, is it true? Gaston said. Have you come out from behind a book? Bonjour, Gaston, Belle said. She was tempted to open her book again on the spot. After market, eh? I shall accompany you. Gaston announced. Gaston followed Belle into shop after shop, keeping up a steady stream of chatter about himself and his exploits. My Gaston, you certainly do boast well, Belle said in a flattering tone. Yes, thank you, Gaston said, before realising that Belle was not complimenting him. His smile disappeared briefly as he opened the door to the bakery. Belle stepped inside and quickly asked for an apple tart before Gaston could begin speaking again. When the tart was in her basket, she waved to Gaston and the shopkeeper. Goodbye, she called, walking quickly towards the forest path. Belle, wait, Gaston caught her arm. I really have no time to linger, Gaston, Belle replied. I must get home to make dinner. I can walk you home, Gaston said, puffing out his massive chest. I insist upon it. You need protection. Belle laughed. Protection from what? These woods are my backyard. From predators, monsters, thieves, Gaston said dramatically. Belle sighed and shook her head. Just then, the two heard something coming from the path ahead, something large. Gaston, quick, Gaston quickly pushed Belle out of harm's way. Belle tumbled on the ground. Her basket went flying. <gasps> Look out! Belle yelled, but it was too late. The predator emerged. It was her father's horse, Philip. For the first time that she could remember, Belle smiled at the sight of Gaston. The apple tart had flown through the air and landed smack on Gaston's face. <laughs> Sometimes Gaston tries a little too hard. If he only asked Belle what she wanted, I think he would have won her. But I guess men like that don't listen. That's why I prefer men like the beast, whose hearts are true, but sometimes needs a little guidance. Gaston is so... What's the word? So full of himself that he doesn't even realise how much of an idiot he is. I guess that's why we love him so much. And talking with love, join me tomorrow where we will see exactly which story 
we will be reading about tomorrow. And I hope to see you at Woodhouse Players on tomorrow as well. And keep an eye out for the jar. It's starting to turn out real nice. See you around.